The Clown There was a man who rode our trains in the Northwest that would sit in the bistro lounge blowing up balloons and twisting them into puppy dog shapes and other figures. He didn't paint his face, but he did dress like a clown with a big floppy hat, and he was very overweight. He covered up his bad hygiene with some sort of fragrance I couldn't recognize. If you were within a few feet of him, you could smell his stink. Not good, but we let him ride as long as he sat in the corner of the Beaster Lounge. I had a couple problems with him. I had a woman assistant conductor who he made a pass at, so I had to tell him to quit flaring his nostrils at her or else he would not be allowed to ride on our trains anymore. He would leave all of his balloons on the table when he got off at his station, and people, mostly kids, were welcome to them. They were in shapes of animals, actually pretty well done. But one day I noticed about ten minutes before his station stop that all the balloons looked like penises. I gave him his last and final warning, threw them in the trash can, and covered them with garbage. I never had a problem with him after that, but we had a bistro car attendant nicknamed the Talgo Queen that would come out of the bistro with a can of air freshener and glide around like a fairy, spraying it all around where the balloon man was sitting, unbeknownst to him, whenever he was on our train. As the years rolled by, we became friends, sort of, as he would grin and make positive comments about my announcement, announcements and was wise enough not to elaborate on them. He knew I was, I collected, bought, and sold vintage cigarette lighters, and one day he brought me a few. We struck a good deal for the both of us. Sadly, the window lady just recently told me he had passed on. I am not sure whether I will see him again, as one never knows.